Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of the EJ Tech Show and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy A12, the company's first A-series smartphone of the year. With a starting price tag of 12,999 rupees, it faces stiff competition from the likes of Poco, Realme and Xiaomi. The box itself is pretty standard for an A-series phone, nothing too fancy as far as the packaging goes, so we might as well open it up. The phone can be seen placed at the top and underneath there's a charging brick and a Type A to Type C cable. There's also a SIM ejector tool and the usual paperwork including a startup guide and warranty. Now let's check out that phone. Both the back and the frame are made entirely out of plastic but we really like the slightly textured matte surface. Not only does the phone feel nice to hold in the hand but the material type gives it a comfortable grip as well. Essentials include a dual SIM function, an SD card slot, a USB Type-C charging port, a 3.5mm audio jack and a single loudspeaker. Additionally, there's a volume rocker and power button placed on the right side of the phone that doubles up as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. It takes a reasonable number of taps to set up and works well both for left index finger and right thumb operation. The front panel gets a solid 86% screen to body ratio despite the relatively thick bezels and chunky chin. There's also an 8 megapixel camera housed in a dewdrop notch. As for the display itself, it's a 6.5 inch HD plus 20 to 9 LCD panel with a resolution of 1600 by 720 pixels. Brightness levels are sufficient for everyday use and satisfactory for this price range. But a 1080p screen would have been better, especially considering the competition is offering you just that at similar price points. However, despite being a lower resolution screen, content looks very sharp on the A12 almost from any angle. Now let's talk optics. The quad camera setup on the back makes a strong case for the Galaxy A12 in its price segment. And while it is debatable how useful the two 2 megapixel modules actually are, the primary 48 megapixel camera and 5 megapixel ultra wide camera offer decent versatility. Meanwhile, the 8 megapixel front sensor clicks nice enough selfies for social media usage. Now let's come over to the camera app where Samsung has kept it fairly simple. This is a good thing since it's straightforward and easy to use. The basics are as usual, swiping left and right will switch between available modes and there's an option to choose between different zoom levels. In the hardware department, the Galaxy A12 is powered by an octa-core Helio P35 processor which in combination with 4GB of RAM ensures solid system performance in everyday use. There's also up to 128GB of onboard storage which should be sufficient for installing plenty of apps and you can always expand that storage by up to 1TB through an SD card. Keeping the lights on is a capacious 5000mAh battery, ample enough for its relatively modest hardware. There's 15W fast charging support present as well. On the software front, the Galaxy A12 runs on Android 10 out of the box, but going by Samsung's impressive track record of quick updates in 2021, the latest Android 11 should reach this phone in the near future. As usual, Samsung combines the Android system with its homegrown user interface, One UI Core 2.5, which has been refined over time to make it less heavy and more customizable. You do have to put up with some pre-installed third-party apps, but they can be easily uninstalled. As far as first impressions go, the Samsung Galaxy A12 seems to be a compelling offer in the lower price segment. The generous battery capacity, versatile quad camera setup and impressive design language are on the Galaxy A12's Plus side. Sadly, it skips out on a 1080p panel, but the HD Plus display on offer is still one of the best we've seen on a smartphone, priced under 15,000 rupees. Anyway, that's it for now guys. Let us know what you think about the new Galaxy A12 in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content.